Hi guys, <coughs> excuse me, the Bruiser here, um, today I'm going to be doing a special cast on this Nurse Roman Village Part 5 of the mini-series. Uh, I've, uh, I've played to level 30, that's as far as the demo goes, um, so it's time for me to do a, do one saying that I really enjoyed playing the game. The game was extremely fun to mess around with. Uh, it is a very early stage process of the game that I was allowed to play for you guys. So. I want to say a massive thank you to Twinstone Studios for giving me the opportunity to actually play this wonderful game in its demo form for you guys to enjoy. I hope you've enjoyed the, the videos I put out. Um, there's, there's quite a lot actually in the game for a demo and for an early build. Um, I have seen on their website that there's weather effects, so that that's going to be quite awesome to see. Uh, I like the premise of this game quite a lot. It's uh, very very uh, simple, basic. Defend central person, which is the emperor. You build up an army to defend. You build up your defenses to defend. The, graphically it's a very good game it's done very very tidily the gameplay is very very smooth um, you know it's it's a game that you can sit down with your family with if you've got young children it's very very family friend friendly it's it's got a good soundtrack to it it's got very basic and easy controls there's a lot of different options available different types of buildings you've got four types of skeletons that I've come across you have the first one that you come across in the very first wave is just a skeleton with a sword and then a little bit later on you unlock a second skeleton and it's got a sh shield and sword which are a little bit tougher you also come across a troll which will drop some extra coins once you defeat them then you come across a skeleton with a shield, a sword and a bit of light armor which again is slightly more powerful than the previous shield, shield and sword skeleton the toughest, the toughest skeleton I come across was a metal armored skeleton which is, would be classed as a full plate set with a helmet I mean and a nice iron shield the animations for those are absolutely brilliant you have some mini bosses or I call them mini bosses I don't actually know if they are mini bosses but they look like they're ogres they take a lot more damage and they're slightly more powerful and then you've got the bosses you have boss waves and each boss so far has been completely different from the previous boss I'm still yet to beat the third boss um, <laughs> so yeah, that, that's to come at some point but I will have to start again and rework out my strategy because the strategy I had was quite clearly not good enough so in total I've come across seven different types of enemy in varying sizes of waves so that's that's really really good it's interesting that they're slightly different um, I wonder if there's going to be more coming <clears throat> excuse me but the buildings 
the defensive buildings you have are walls and towers so each each one is on as, as far as the demo goes each one there's there's five of them in each the first the first tower and the first wall are both eight coins the second tower and the second wall are both nine coins and so forth so they both cost exactly the same to upgrade um, the damage done by the tower goes up by two each time it's upgraded but the last <coughs> excuse me the last three have got special effects so when you get to tower three you'll have your enemies slow down as they walk through a crystal field and then tower four you you end up with them having damage poison against them and then tower five does fire damage to the enemy I didn't get around to upgrading the tower to tower five I've only got up to wall three which again they they grow as power the base one is a wooden wall with 350 and then it goes to big palisade walls which are 550 damage available defensive capabilities and then it goes to 850 for the first concrete wall or brick wall and then the last two jump up quite nicely so your your towers will have a lot longer to hit the enemies <coughs> excuse me I have no idea why I got a frog in my throat you have I really need to get the blisters out see what they're like <clears throat> so then you come on to your troops that you have you have four levels of troops each time their attack and defense goes up and their health goes up on the barracks you have your bog standard soldier which is just a short sword and shield little round shield front line troop and then you have your spear troop which is uh, level two <laughs> then you have your sword and shield soldier but it's a big square shield and then you have an extremely strong looking soldier with no sword, with no shield but a sword and the attack from him which I'm guessing is the warrior that you get from the wheel which I'll touch on in a little bit so on level 1 barracks you get your bog standard troop level 2 you end up with your spear soldier and then level 3 you'll get your next soldier which compared to the first one is 40 HP higher 5 defense higher and 7 attack higher than your base unit and then you have your archer you have two archers available again upgrading from 1 to 2 you'll end up having a stronger archer with HP 20 more HP 1.5 defense higher and then the attack is also increased ballista I never managed to get myself a ballista so I don't know how effective they are but they have a nice bit of HP that's 275 HP it has zero defense but attack capacity is three times five and then you have a healer from the healing tents 
Obviously no attack, but they are literally there just for healing your troops. Which will come in handy. Building wise, you have houses. They range from level 1 to level 9. Forum, which is where your emperor sits, or stands I should say, not sits, is the building that starts you off. You don't purchase it, it's already there and it starts you off with four coins each round. Then you have a blacksmith. There's three levels to blacksmith and each level will increase your percentage of attack of your units. And obviously the price goes up. Uh, the attack is going to be on top of what it already is, the base attack plus the bonus attack. Mill is the next one I want to talk about which will give you more HP for your troops. Again there's three levels and obviously the price goes up again. And each each level of building has its own skin so it will change appearance as it goes up which is good otherwise it would just be you know staying the same so you wouldn't be able to see. Then you have your armory which will be increasing your defense so it will be able to help your base, base defense increase so that your units can defend themselves take slightly more damage again there's three levels for that and each time it will increase your defense and then we have the barracks like I say where you get your basic troops from and then you get your your legionnaires and then they're I'm not even going to attempt to say the last one because I'll mess out completely. And then we have the archery range that's only got two levels. Which gives you your base archer and then you get the next archer up. Then you have a catapult facility factory. Which is where you get your ballistas from. That's one of the most expensive buildings that I've come across so far. Sitting at 15. But there's only one level for that, so, you know, maybe that's something I should look into next time. I'm trying to beat the. beat it. And then you have the stone mine, which gives you two extra coins per wave and one extra spear. And then you have your tent. They have level three healing, uh, level three level tents, even. So, you know, again, that goes up in into stronger I don't know if it affects the healing speed because I've only ever used level 110 I should really mess around with that and then you have the wood cutlery produces another two coins per wave and you also get another spear so you'll end up with a total of three spears you can use when you have both the wood cutlery and the stone mine and then you have magic on the wheel you get a warrior, a chance to get a warrior, you get a chance to get a pet dog, the, the pet dog stays in the village the whole time and the warrior will be available if you unlock him every two waves. You have rain of arrows which again you'll be able to use every two waves and you've got Wrath of Gods which again obviously will be two usable after two waves every two waves but as as the wheel spins and you land on the on any of those that you've already unlocked you'll actually get an increase anyway 
there on top of their base things so you could end up with a lot of powerful things off the top of my head I remember on the wheel there is coins no luck obviously the dog the warrior wrath of gods rain of arrows uh, there's a big coin pouch there's a single coin pouch so basically that is just a luck of the will so there's a bit of a bit of gamblers luck involved in that I would say um, yeah the, the spears do a little bit of damage to people does the base skeleton takes two arrows uh, two spears to die so you know you got to choose your targets well obviously that comes into the strategy part of the game after all it's a strategy based game so there's that and, and like I say I'm I'm in love with the graphics I think the graphics are brilliant uh, this is a demo it's an early release version of the game uh, I have been told by the devs themselves that they're polishing up working hard to increase that uh, apparently there's more buildings due to come they like I say there's weather effects obviously there's gonna be more rounds than 30 because 30 was for the demo so that we don't give away all the secrets so at the end of this video I will be putting a link to the steam shop for you to be able to be kept in the loop with the game and when it comes available so that hopefully you can purchase the game I will be sending it, putting a link to their Twitter account so you can follow their Twitter account and I'll also be dropping off a link to their webpage as well as my own links for my channels obviously excluding YouTube because you know we're already there and uh, Again, I want to thank the, the devs for letting me have the chance to do this. I really enjoyed it. I I started doing becoming a content creator for the sole purpose of helping indie devs have their sh their work shown to the world. Um, as we all know, indie devs don't have the type of budget what to play though so their marketing won't be as high and it's done more for passion than for actually making money obviously the money part will become great because then they can do other games and they can increase and change the games that they've already got out which we all gonna love so thank you to you guys thank you everybody for watching uh, my YouTube channel will be continuing to do games and on the day of release for this game I will be live streaming it on my Mixer channel and I should be giving away two copies throughout the course of the stream so stay tuned for that thank you very much have a lovely day and I would strongly recommend trying this game when it comes out it's so much fun it's so relaxing and it's a game you can play with a whole family in thank you and take care